let's look at this question uh, what does the question read this is the triangle and the measure of the angle are given in x's so you've got x plus 4 say let me name this a triangle ABC so instead of saying this angle I can say angle A measures x plus 4 angle B measures x plus 10 and angle C is x minus 20 so each angle in this triangle is represented by an expression that's an x write and solve an equation to find out what x represents okay so yeah what they've given is angle a is equal to x plus 4 it's always good to write down what's given angle b is x plus 10 and angle c is x minus 20. Now, what do, what do you know about the sum of angles of uh, any triangle? Like you see, whenever you have an example, you if, this is one of a good strategy to follow. First, write down what you have, okay, what's given, or what's that you know, and uh, then you think about what you have to find. And in between those two, there should be something that you already know. So, if you follow these steps, you can do most of the questions in maths. So first write what's given and think what's to be found. We want to find x here. Now what's the relation or what's the connection between this two is something or some knowledge that you should have. So I'm asking you the question, what is the sum if you add any three angles of a triangle, it adds to a very neat number. Okay, so we well you say, okay, I know that. That is angle A plus angle B plus angle C of any triangle is always 180 degree or it's half half turn so can we uh, relate this with this so in place of x i'm going to put x plus 4 so let me put that in the bracket x plus 4 is angle a what is angle b angle b measures x plus 10 so i'll write x plus 10 just like that and angle c is x minus 20 is equal to 180 so you're almost there and now you have to simplify okay so let me write this open the brackets x plus 4 plus x plus 10 plus x minus 20 is equal to 180 so let me underline something for you to see you got an x here x here and x here and you've got a 4 year you've got a 10 year what what type of, why, why did I underline or use different colors for this? So, well, I'm trying to tell you that look for, these are like terms. So, let us write in groups of x. So, you've got x plus x plus x. So, this is, these are like terms. And then you've got 4 plus 10 minus 20 is equal to 180. So, I can simplify or I can x3 lots of x gives you what and what does this simplify to so let me again change color so you've got three lots of x x plus x plus x is 3x okay now this you can do 4 plus 10 is 14 take away 20 okay 14 take away 20 is negative 6 is equal to 180 now those who are not confident in adding and subtracting can always use a calculator. So I would go like this. You can go 4 plus 10 minus 20. The calculator would give you minus 6. And that's what I wrote. Okay, so yeah. So adding minus 6 is same as taking away. So I can write 3x uh, minus 6 is equal to 120. Now you can use a logic or you can do mathematically. What should this now 3x be? What take away 6 gives you 180? Well, you know, this is, has to be 186. Okay, so what I'm saying is, let me use a different color. You know, use your logic. I know 186. Okay, okay, let me write that like this. Let me do a square. Okay. So my question, after this, you should think like this. What? minus 6 gives me 180 so that this is a number so well i can say okay 
this has to be 186 because 186 minus 6 is 180. So 3x you can compare with this. So well I can say therefore this is a notation of therefore. So 3x has to be 186. So you've got three lots of x. The next step is I'm going to divide this side by 3 to also divide this side by 3. I would like to do without the calculator. So this I'll explain this in a different way. So this is this can I write like this 180 plus 6 divided by 3. So x is equal to 180 divided by 3 plus 6 divided by 3. So you know 180 divided by 3 is 60 plus 2 is 62. So x is 62. So I'll explain this how to do suppose if you have 3x is equal to 186. So this, if you think in a different way, you've got three lots of x. So x plus x plus x is so to divide this into three parts. So first I divide 180 into three parts, which is if you divide 180 into three parts, you get 60. And if you divide 6 into two parts, three parts, you get 2. So this is the same as 62 plus 62 plus 62. So can you pattern match x with 62? Also, you can say x is equal to 62. There are different ways of thinking about equations because equations are, you can say, the, the foundation of mathematics. Okay. Now let us see whether the answer makes sense. Okay. So if x is 62, this, this angle, so let me write here. So angle A is 62 plus 6, which is... 66. Does it make sense? Angle B is x plus 6, 10, which is 62 plus 10, which is 72. And uh, angle C is x minus 20, which is 62 minus 20, which is 42. So let us add 66 plus, this is how you can check your answer, plus 42, 72 plus 42. So I'm using the algorithm, 6 plus 2 is 8, plus 2 is 10, carry over 1, 6, 1 plus 6 is 7, plus 7 is 14, plus 1, 18. So you should be really proud of yourself as you have done, gone through the whole process. So don't be miserly, you can give yourself 5 stars. See you in the next